So we've used our structure sensor from occipital to get a scan of a residual limb. Now we need to kind of adjust that scan a little bit so that we can make it usable by Fusion 360. So what we want to do is we want to import our scan. I've got mine saved right here under model. And this is the raw file that came through my email, through my occipital structure sensor to my PC. So in Mesh Mixer, you want to hold down the right mouse button and that lets you orbit around your model. And what we can see here is a lot of blue lines. And the blue lines are kind of showing you where there's kind of the cracks um, inside the model that make it uh, non-manifold or not completely closed. We want to close those cracks up. So we're going to go to Edit and we're going to go to Close Cracks. We're going to see that a lot of those blue lines are going to disappear. We still have some little red dots. Those little red dots uh, are kind of little holes, little problems with the with the scan. Uh, same with the blue. What we want to do next is we want to take this model and if we look at it we can see if we zoom in using your scroll wheel we can see that it's kind of hollow on the inside. We don't want that either. We want to kind of solid this out. So we can do that in Mesh Mixer by clicking to make solid. So we're going to do that and we're going to get out a solid model. You can see that this particular scan has a little has a few little holes in it still, uh, so it's kind of um, rough right here. Uh, that's okay. Uh, this is going to give us a nice, good general shape uh, of the limb that we're trying to fit a partial prosthetic to. So we can go ahead and accept this, and we're going to get a nice gray scale uh, model. And all I need to do now is I need to trim off the pieces that I don't need. So I don't really need any of this portion of the arm that's down. Uh, here. All I really need is this hand part and a bit of the, a little bit of the wrist uh, to do my modeling and fusion. So to do that, I can actually use this plane cut feature. So I can go to this plane cut and I can see that it kind of draws this line, uh, draws this plane. And anything beneath this plane is kind of this ghost color. This ghostly color means it's going to be cut out of my model. And I can change the orientation of this plane using these uh, little um, kind of different colored circles and arrows. So as I look at these, I can, I can use these little circles to adjust the angular orientation of my plane. So I can kind of rotate this around and I can start to get my plane so that it's only cutting off the bottom part of that hand. Okay, and maybe I want a little bit more on my wrist so I can move this plane down a little bit, maybe a little bit more of a perpendicular cut. Maybe that's cutting off too much of an angle. So maybe I want to rotate this around a little bit. Kind of want to look at it so that it's getting a nice uh, kind of perpendicular hand that we're, that we're going to get out of this. Uh, if we can imagine sitting it on a table so it would sit up straight and down. This is useful to get a nice flat kind of uh, bottom so that if we want to print a version of this uh, partial hand, we can use that as a model to test our designs and to fit anything, any kind of partial prosthetic that you, that you print as a prototype. So once that looks good and that looks pretty good to me, uh, we're going to cut out this bottom part, this ghostly part, by just clicking accept. Now we're ready to actually send this as a STL file, which we could then print and use it as a base for if we're going to want to uh, print a copy of the hand so that we can have it to uh, try on any new designs before bringing in uh, our recipient. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to export. We're going to export this model. Uh, I'm going to give it the name Alan Mold, and I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to replace, and there we go. I've got our file saved. Now we're going to want to roll over to Fusion 360, and Fusion 360, uh, we can work with this uh, file from Mesh Mixer.